Hello guys, what's up? A quick video just to show you the new BART features. Is BART now the new um, ChatGPT? That's a big question. I don't think it is. ChatGPT4, GPT4 is still better than BART, but I have to say, BART got pretty good updates. First, it's finally available in Europe. It's finally available in Brazil. You have up to 40 languages, and I'm guessing uh, Google is going to be even better at adding new languages because you can see Google Translate, it's already quite good. And there is one feature I wanted to show you. Actually, I wanted to show you two features that are new, is that they added Google Lens to a bar. Google Lens, what it is, is that it can take an image and it can somehow guess and understand what it is. So we're going to go on Google Image and go for Van Gogh painting, I don't know. Um, I love Van Gogh, by the way, he's my favorite painter. And you can take, let's take like, a, like another one. Not the, 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 the most known one, but it's still pretty known. So you go here, you cannot see it right now, but there's a little plus right here. And you can press it if my computer wants to. Uh, Okay, my computer really doesn't want to. Okay, upload file. You can click here. Oh my God, what's happening? Okay, upload file. And you can take the painting and just say, what is it? I'm not even asking what painting it is or where does it come from. You can just say, what is it? And then you hope that Bard knows. And obviously he knows the Raid Vine Ward by Vincent van Gogh. And you can see also other drafts. So this is something that was already the case for BOD, which is quite a cool feature, is that you can get three different versions of the, of the results. And you can even reload the, the, the answers. So that's pretty good. That's one of the new features. You can upload images and you can understand images. I don't have case to these right now, but I can imagine a um, combination of a few things. One is this. Two, you can now listen to it. And I hope you can hear it because I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it. They just, they just read the whole results with a very good, uh, uh, a nice voice, I have to say. And uh, I can imagine if, if Google, if Bard is able to watch at something and then talks, Imagine going to a museum and just being like, okay, what am I seeing? You know, and can you give me, uh, I mean, you can ask, can you give me as much details as possible about that image, please? Um, I don't know if you can have other images, but with the answer, I'll give you, okay, interesting. Um, um, act like you're, you are a museum. Uh, how to say that? Entertainer? Okay, this is where my English is not so good. Act like you're a museum entertainer to make this information more compelling to hear. Let's try and you'll see where I'm going. I'm just trying to find like a super, super fast prompt. Okay, and now you can listen to it. And it's quite interesting. Now, there is also a few other things. You can also modify the response, make it simpler, for example. And uh, you can make it longer. You can make it shorter. You can make it more casual and you can make it more professional. And this is pretty good. So now you have a longer version. You can obviously have other drafts if you want to and you can make it more professional if you want to as well. So this is all, these are all new features uh, from Bard. Um, um, and I wanna show you another one. You can share and export your prompts right now. You can either have the entire chat or this prompt in the response. I would advise you to go for the entire chat and also to create a public link. And now you have a link that you can copy and paste somewhere and you can finally do it's exactly the same on chat gpt but they picked it up on how important it is to do that so that's one 
And there is another one, it's the last feature and I wanted to show you, it's coding. Uh, code a simple um, Tetris game. Let's try, let's try. Um, for me. Maybe even have to say for me, it works. <laughs> I don't know if adding that works will make it work. Uh, I wish, I wish prompting that was that simple. Make sure it works. Um, but now what you can do is you can modify, um, sorry, share and export to Replit. You have to say, I understand, I want to open Replit. And um, I already have an account. You can sign up with your Google, so it's, uh, your Google uh, email, so it's super easy. And you can run your, uh, you can run your code. Now, I don't think it's gonna work. I think we're missing a whole lot of stuff that Bart is actually telling me here uh, to do. I'm not a coding expert, so I'm, I'm very sorry for the, the, the coding expert, but now exporting uh, your code has, has been made even easier. So here it is. You have all of the new features in one video. I'd love to see just a few likes and a few comments to make sure that those YouTube videos are something you're looking up to. Uh, I'd like to create LinkedIn posts where it's like very simple, very simplistic, and then have those YouTube videos where I can go in much greater details. All right, talk to you soon and all the best.